Hello, welcome. Uh, as we watch our sheep eat contentedly, um, I would like to talk to you about uh, the issue of race in Vermont, because it, appe it appears to be attaching to every single piece of legislation and issue that comes up now, as if everybody has new eyes and seeing the world in a new way through a racist lens. And, and here are the facts about Vermont and its history. It is not this racist place. And it's not to say that there is, hasn't been racism here, particularly when you get in a large white area. Um, you'll have ignorance just as you would in Ireland or Poland or other places where they're predominantly white. Um, but as far as systemic racism and the things that are being said about Vermont, it's just not true. So I want to show some facts to you. Up through most of the 1900s, there were fewer than 600 people identified as residing in Vermont according to the census for 1920, 30, 40, 50, 60. Then somewhere a little later on, it picked up a bit, maybe in the, in the uh, back to the land movement of the 70s. But by 1990, we had fewer than 2,000 black people identified as black only under the census living in Vermont. And from 1990 to 2019, that number increased to about 8,770-something, 8, I believe, on the 2019 numbers, which means it increased about four and a half times in less than 30 years, 29 years. Now, what happened is part of that was Vermont actually at one point, by 2016, was... Um, known as having the narrowest income gap between black people and white people in the whole country. And that same year uh, was the only state in this country that had uh, black people were more likely to have a college degree than white people in Vermont. We were the only state. And now we're told how racist we are all of a sudden. And what they've been doing, they meaning people that are using race as the sole measuring stick of all that is holy and, and sacred, are recasting all the statistics in Vermont to make us look terrible. And one of the things that's happened is, in the last five years, a, lot, a number of people, not a huge number, but a significant number statistically of black and uh, people and people of color from other countries have come to live in Vermont and have been welcomed there. And some of us have been supportive of that, um, of people that are documented. You know, that's just the law. So they now live in Burlington, where we're also told there are over 3,000 people living who are undocumented, and they are included in the statistics they now say show that people in Burlington and around Vermont are less likely, if they're black, to own a home, own their own home, or have the same income as white people. And therefore, that proves that Vermont is systemically racist. No, it proves that demographically, we recently had 1,000 or 2,000 people, about 25% perhaps. I don't know what the numbers are, because they don't tell us the real numbers. In the 1910 census, you could see where everybody came from, where their parents came from. And now, they can't even identify, they won't identify where people convicted or arrested of drug offenses are, are, are from, because that will show that there potentially that there's an influx of people from other residencies or who brought their poverty with them, who, when they're arrested here for selling drugs, just like if they're found here not owning a home, it doesn't mean that people here are committing racist uh, uh, color stereotyping or other practices that are now being thrown all about as if somehow this is some terrible revelation. Baby Vermont should just let rich black people come live here and then we would look good statistically. Just look in H273 and H210. Those two bills, the first one's on the farm bill and the second one is on health care. And in both, they recount all kinds of facts about, oh, statistics show that people in Vermont of color are much more likely to suffer this, that, and the other. And then just look at the demographic statistics I've just cited, because it's all facts. I don't have to lie about the facts. The facts speak for themselves. But other people are lying about the facts and manipulating facts in ways that say horrible things about our police and about Vermonters and about our state. And it's got to stop with the math and the truth and the facts. So thanks for listening and just get educated and tell me if I'm wrong because I'm not trying. I just want to know what the true facts are. Not I see everything manipulated constantly to, to create conflict where there needn't be any and we can't afford it. So thanks for joining me and my sheep. If we could only just all get along like the girls do. And this guy here, he's not so good. That's Calvin. Have a good day.